In the last video, I talked about tries, a way to store and search for strings. The problem with tries is that after inserting a few strings, you end up with a lot of nodes. But there's a simple rule you can use to reduce the number of nodes. The rule goes as follow. Each internal node must have at least two children. So each node that is not the root, a leaf, or the end of a word must have at least two children. So let's highlight in blue the internal nodes which break the rule. Now we just need to remove the blue nodes. To do that, we take the letters of the arcs and merge them together. For example, on the left, we can merge the arcs into the word algorithm. Now we only have one node to represent an entire word. Same thing for the word bread. And if we keep removing these internal nodes, we end up with a much more compact try. This is why they are called compact prefix trees or compressed tries. Let's figure out how to implement one in JavaScript. In the diagrams I've been showing, the important information is stored in the arcs, but I want to use a different representation that's going to be more convenient. In this representation, like regular tries, arcs will be labeled with a single letter. The rest of the letters are going to be stored inside the nodes. So we start our implementation by defining a try node class. Each node in the try can represent or not the end of a word. So we initialize the property is end of word to false. A node can have zero, one or more children. We will store these children in an object. The keys will be a single letter and the values will be the nodes. Then we will store the remaining letters in a property I called prefix. Technically, it's not really a prefix because it can be in the middle of a word, but it still is the prefix of the subtree. So for the lack of a better word, let's call it a prefix. With this representation to read a word, we start from the root and concatenate the letters in the prefixes of the nodes. Now let's create a class for the compressed try. Like a regular try, we start by creating a root node. Before inserting words, let's create a utility method that calculates the length of the longest common prefix of two strings A and B. Nothing's really difficult here, so let's move on to the insert method. Let's say we want to insert the word compute. We start at the root and iterate over the letters of the word. Let's store the current letter we are looking at in a constant name key. In this case, it's the first letter. We search for a child of the root that starts with the letter C, but here the root has no children. In that case, it means that we need to create a new node in the try. This node stores a prefix of the word we are inserting. In this specific case, the prefix is the entire word, but it usually is just a suffix of the word. This is why we use slice. Now this node represents the end of a word, so we set is end of word to true. We can then make this new node a child of the root. Finally, because we've inserted the word in the try, we can break out of the while loop, or we can return from the function. It will have the same behavior, so I'm not sure what's better or cleaner, so you decide. Now let's say we want to insert the word computer. Node is set to the root and i to zero. We take the first letter of the word computer, which is a C, and we find a child. So this if will be skipped, and we can update the value of node to point to this child. Because we found a node with a prefix that share letters with the word we are trying to insert, we compute the number of letters they share using the method we created earlier. We compare the prefix of the node with a slice of the word because a node doesn't necessarily store the word entirely. But in this example, we compare computer with compute. These two words share seven letters. In this special case where the word we are inserting contains a prefix of the node we are looking at, we just need to update the value of our index i so that it points to the letters that are not common. Doing this also takes care of the case of trying to insert the same word multiple times. For example, if we try to insert the word compute a second time, the value of i would point outside the word, so we would exit the while loop. Let's go back to inserting the word computer. After updating the value of i, we go back to the beginning of the while loop. 
the last letter R is stored inside key. The node doesn't have any children. So we enter the if control flow and we create the new child. Okay, so we handle the case when the common prefix length is equal to the length of the prefix of the node. For obvious reasons, this length cannot be greater or cannot be zero, but it can be smaller. For example, let's say that we are inserting the word computing. Node is set to the root and i to zero. We take the first letter of the word computer, which is a C, and we find a child. So this if will be skipped and we can update the value of node to point to this child. We compute the length of the common prefix, but here compute and computing only share six common letters. So we are not going to be able to add a child to the compute node, like we did for computer. Instead, we need to split the compute node to be able to deal with both compute and computing. So to do this, after increasing the value of i, if the common prefix length is smaller than the node's prefix, then we need to split node in two. One node containing the common prefix and one node containing the rest of the letters. So we need to create a new node containing the part of the prefix that is different. In this example, it will contain the letter E. This new node represents the end of the word compute. So we set is end of word to node dot is end of word and we copy the children of node to it. Now we modify the compute node to only contain the characters existing in both compute and computing. And we modify its children to only contain the new node we created. Because we just splitted this node in two, we need to decide if it still represents the end of a word. In this specific case, it doesn't. But consider the case when we first insert the word computer and then the word compute. In this case, this node represents the end of the word compute. So we set node.isEndOfWord to be true if the new value of i corresponds to the length of the word we are inserting. And we have nothing else to do. Otherwise, if our index is smaller than the word's length, then isEndOfWord will be false. And we go back to the beginning of the while loop. Key will point to the i in computing. Node is the node containing compute with that an e. So this node doesn't have a child for the letter i. So a new one will be created and we will exit the loop. That's it. We finally written the insert method. Okay, now let's do the exact search method. We want to know if a word exists in the try. So we start with the root and iterate over the letters in the word. We check if the current node has a child for the current letter. If that's not the case, we return false. The word doesn't exist in the try. Otherwise, we continue and update the value of node to be that child. Now we need to check if the word we are looking for contains the prefix of the node. To do that, I use the common prefix length method to get the number of matching characters. Here, because we are looking for a perfect match, prefix length should be equal to the node's prefix length. If it is not, then we return false. If they are equal, we increase the value of i so we can move up to the next node. But before we need to check if this is the end of the word. If it is, then we can return node is end of word. Finally, let's add a return false after the while loop. And we are done. You are free to modify it to suit your needs. So that's it. That's the video. Thank you for watching. Please keep watching my videos. Makes me happy. And I have other videos. Maybe you will like them too. So bye. See you later.